is Q Jones, a DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, and please subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, you know the routine. Welcome home. Make yourself at home. <sighs> Rough week this week. Um, my wife's mother passed this past last week to add insult injury. My son tested positive for COVID Saturday, so I'm kind of a hostage in my own house to a certain extent. Not a hostage, so, but kind of trapped in the bedroom. I don't like our Kelly trapped in the closet, more like Melania Trump. Trump trapped in the bedroom, tried to avoid the virus from mounting me. But with that all said, I have some pretty decent picks from this week. Um, drove out to Lakeland, found some fantastic deals. Not the quantity that I did a couple weeks ago, but definitely the quality. But before I get into that, I'm not only one of these guys that collects movies, I actually watch them. And before I go into the movies, just like to share with you some stuff I've actually watched for the week. I'm going to start the week out with a television series, season eight of Dexter. Dexter lasted from 2006 to 2013, and they have just released another season of Dexter, a second part of the Dexter saga, which I haven't seen yet. So my family and I are watching season eight with Michael C. Hall and Jennifer Carpenter being the main stars. It's actually quite interesting how we watched the last two episodes last night. We watched it streaming on Amazon Prime. So we actually synced the start times with my son and my wife in one room and myself in the other room watching season eight. So that was interesting. So if you like psychological thrillers with murder involved, you'll definitely like season eight or Dexter in general. Season 8, Dexter. My next pick is actually another television series, a streaming series that I just kind of ran, ran across on the Disney Channel. It's Disney's Sulphur Springs Season 2, uh, starring Kylie Curran. You might know her as Abra Stone on Dr. Sleep. Dr. Sleep being the sequel to The Shining. Very fun family fantasy very Disney-esque type of television series. I don't give spoilers on my channel because I hate being spoiled about shows, so I can't go into too much detail about the show without actually spoiling it, though. But if you like a family show, short episode, 30 minutes, fantasy, fun stuff, you'll probably like Disney's Sulphur Springs. Check out the first season if you like that. You'll definitely be pulled into the second, second season. My next pick is actually a movie I watched on Hulu called Mother Android. It's a 2021 drama sci-fi thriller starring Chloe, Mo Chloe Moretz. You might know Chloe Moretz from Kick-Ass, the remake of, I don't know the remake, what, Let Me In. I forgot what the French version, the Dutch version is. Carrie, the remake of Carrie. Also, you have Al G. Smith. You might know him from Detroit and Black Messiah. This is a post-apocalyptic post type of picture where the world has been overrun by artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence has gone extremely wrong. It starts out really slow. The first 30 minutes actually kind of reminded me of the movie Only, Only was a movie that a black girl, one of, the subscribe, one of my subscribers turned me on to. Very slow, somewhat lethargic, in the first 30 minutes probably in the first after that the sci-fi part kicks in the movie has a fantastic twist my wife and I are watching this didn't really expect this twist so if you can hang in the first 30 minutes the movie picks up it's really interesting it is a drama so it's not gonna have the action the ending is not what I expected either though but definitely a solid solid watch get the opportunity watch Hulu's Mother Android and my last pick is another television series 
This is actually a, a Netflix series called Archive 81. This is a 2022 series. Uh, you might know the creator, Rebecca, I believe it's Sun and Shine. Sun and Shine? Interesting. She's the creator of Vampire Diaries. You're probably more familiar with the, with the other executive producers, James Wan of the Conjuring series, also Aquaman. I actually forgot he actually directed Aquaman. This has a, to me, it has kind of a conjuring feel to it. It's well paced, suspenseful. I'm not gonna have a lot of action though, but it's that suspenseful thriller type. The premise is this film restore is paid to restore some mysterious eight millimeter film from an unusual apartment fire. And the apartment fire actually happened, I believe in the early to mid nineties. One of the stars, and I'm probably gonna just ruin his name, I believe is Mal Mamauda App. You might know him from the movie Underwater, Black Box, and he's also gonna be in the new Jurassic World, Jurassic World Domain in 2022. The other co-star, Matt, I believe it was Matt McGurry. You might know him from Orange and the New Black, which I don't really remember him, but I do remember him, remember him in couple seasons I watched of How to Get Away with Murder. The whole premise is loosely based on a podcast of the same name, Archive 81. My wife and I actually binge watch the whole thing. Very interesting, very suspenseful. And being a television series, they're lining up for a second series. So very inter interested to see where they go in the second series, or second season, I should say. So that's what I watched for the week. That's kind of what happened to me this past week. So without further ado, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video. I've been out here. Got the wife in the car waiting.
not a huge pickup today, but as I always say, it's not always the quantity, but the quality. As far as quality, yeah, it's a chain jackpot on this one. So let me scan these in, go over these real quickly, and get you guys out of here. Hold on. Going to kick it off with one of the films, that one of the eight films to die for. I already have this, just get a better copy of it. Wicked Little Things. I love these. Eight films to die for. for low budget, but pretty decent horror films there usually done pretty well so I have this nice little slip cover and actually the insert and I think I have all these except for reincarnation penny dreadful I'm not sure I have unrest or not These are the eight films to die for. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have reincarnation or unrest. So keep a look out for those. Wicked little things, one buck. Next, we have Michael Moore, Capitalism a Love Story. I rather enjoy his documentaries. And this is in Anchor Bay release, out of print release. Very nice slip cover. And you have the DVD. This is Anchor Bay release. And who releases Lionsgate does the Eight. One of eight films to die for. My last DVD is uh, Chris Brown Presents, BET Presents Chris Brown. I love my BET Presents. I think I have, I think I have a 50 Cent Sierra. I might have an Omarion. And now Chris Brown. And let me kind of break this up again. I forgot, almost forgot my 3D pick of the week. This is the sequel to the original Jumanji. Welcome to the Jungle. This is Jumanji the Next Level with The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, Jack Black, Kevin Hart, and Karen Gillian. Watched part of this last night up to like 1 o'clock last night. I was getting a little tired. Beautiful 3D. 3D is amazing. Um, don't know why this didn't get a normal American 3D release, but I'll often ask that about a lot of the 3D, 3D releases that don't get a US release. Jumanji, Next Level, and with these 3D releases, I don't know who does. This is a Universal Sony collaboration release. My 3D pick of the week. Now back to my Max Pawn. Uh, let me see. Yeah. yeah. These three picked up at the pawn shop. Matter of fact, I still have them in the wrapper. Give me a second. Let me get these out the wrapper. One moment. Now, all of these are $5 a piece. Uh, Godzilla Tokyo SOS and Godzilla Final Wars, the Toho Godzilla Collection. This is a Sony release. Picked it up again in the wrapper, <clears throat> five bucks a piece. We have the final wars, wars, Godzilla Tokyo SOS, and the beautiful artwork on the back. The first one. Then you have Godzilla versus Destroya and Godzilla versus Megasaurus, another Sony release. And if you hear something in the background with my son watching the 100, that's the booming clip subwoofer. You might hear booming every now and then. And Godzilla versus Destroya. 
this again also is five bucks with the code. Let's see if the code still works. Then I have Godzilla versus Mega Godzilla. Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. Again, Sony release, five bucks. Two Blu-ray movies plus the code, so very good deal. And again, beautiful artwork on the back. So, 15 bucks for these. Let's see, one buck for this, one buck for this, one buck for that. Now, this next one, I saw this, I'm like, okay, they're gonna get me up at the register. I think I realized they mispriced it. Or maybe they did misprice it. Maybe they just wanna get the fuck off the shelf. Don't care. Eddie Murphy, coming to America, 4K. One fucking dollar. One dollar. Can't beat that. Slip cover. I get this damn thing off though. 4K. Got the code. See if it still works. Actually had to put this in to see how it looked and sound. I put it in. The little HDR symbol comes up. And I had to go to the pre-wedding scene when Calvin Lockhart is introducing his daughter, the princess, and you have the, his, the princess, I guess, first maid, excuse me, excuse me, get out the way, and you hear all the music and the dancing, and the sounds amazing, color booming, just crisp, bright, colorful, just colorfuls are popping, sounds amazing. Coming to America, 4K, $1. And I thought this was the, the big catch of the day. I was like, okay, I can't get any better than this. I can't. I did. This one right here. Again, still in the wrapper. And I'm probably, you're probably saying, how is this different than these? It looks like the same thing. It's a different title. I guess the same group. But this is how it's different. Hold on. So this Blu-ray alone, over a hundred bucks. Go to Amazon, I think you want like 240 on Amazon. So since I'm not going to sell this, let me open this bitch up and see what it has. And I have the code for this. Then I have Godzilla vs. King Is that Ghidorah. And Godzilla vs. Mothra. And that's my wife clinking around with the dishes. Yeah, and just like the rest, I paid $5 for this. So, for the whole lot, basically, you see, I got over $100, $150, $26. Not a bad pickup. second let me put this stuff together and I'll get you good people on your way hold on I have almost everything scanned into my CLZ movies app that sees in Charlie L's in Lima Z's in Zebra only thing that didn't scan in was the Chris Brown BET presents for some reason they don't have codes on these BET DVD don't know why this is what I have scanned in. And 
let's finish this up. Have everything laid out, ready to be put back in its proper place. These, just because of the mere rarity of Godzilla versus Mothra, it's gonna make the shelf. The rest of these, the artwork goes back into plastic sleeves, into a binder, and the just got you goes into a folder with the rest. As usual, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to help me find these fantastic deals. If you haven't subscribed yet, what the fuck is wrong with you? Hit the subscribe button. It doesn't hurt, but you help me out. And nothing else, give me the big thumbs up. That doesn't hurt either. Other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Peace.